Okay, what's going on everybody? My name is Mang, welcome back to Mang Plays the Best Games of All Time. We are here with another RTS. Been looking at quite a few uh, within the last few years. Command and Conquer, Warcraft 2, Red Alert, Age of Empires, and now Total Annihilation. Um, this is really the only one of those that doesn't have a franchise surrounding it. There's no Total Annihilation 2, uh, from what I understand. There is... A game called Supreme Commander, released in 2007, that was meant to be like the spiritual successor to this. And then there was a Supreme Commander 2, but that's it. Uh, so this was developed by Cave Dog Entertainment. Which was uh, sort of a subsidiary of Humongous Entertainment. Which was a company uh, founded by Ron Gilbert of Monkey Island fame. And uh, Shelley Day. And so this is sort of you know, connected to Monkey Island <laughs> in a way. Uh, Ron Gilbert was a producer on Total Annihilation, but it was designed by Chris Taylor, who's... I more knew of him uh, for making Dungeon Siege. <sighs> Which I don't think is on the list. I wouldn't think so. It is not. Um, but anyways, I digress. So yeah, Chris Taylor did Total Annihilation, and then he did Supreme Commander many years later. Um, it's an RTS. Uh, it's known for a few differences compared to the other ones we've been looking at. Um, primarily, I guess, the fact that you have a commander unit, and your commander unit is just like powerful and um, can build things faster than other units and uh, can do all sorts of stuff. And resources are just constantly kind of being harvested. And they're limitless. And so it's more based around like the time to build things, I guess. I don't know. I guess we're just going to see. Uh, I've never played this game before. I've never even heard of this game before. I think I've heard of Supreme Commander, but yeah, I don't know anything about any of these games. So I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, so let's do a new campaign. We can do the Arm campaign or the Core. I don't know. Probably Arm. Uh, a hero returns. Establish a guard detail around the Galactic War. Gate. And after 4,000 years, the Core Empire stood on the brink of final victory over the Arm Rebellion. Arm forces throughout the galaxy were overwhelmed by the superior numbers and firepower of the ruthless Core. Their bid for freedom nearly lost. The battered remnants of the arm military clustered in the single star system. Uh, it's not reading this text, it's just reading something else. Empyreon uh, I don't know. Were it not for the skill of the sole surviving arm commander. So basically, just establish a guard detail around the galactic gate. That's sort of a vague detail. But let's just get into it. Alright, so the menu is a different resolution than the game. So I have to resize this now. Give me a second. This is the uh, the Steam version, which is not a remaster or anything like that. It just functions on modern computers. Uh, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it paused. I don't know how to un... Pause. Nothing of these buttons unpauses. Thought maybe... What is... What? Is anything unpause? Uh... Options? Uh, there's no options for controls or anything. So... Okay, resume, I guess, work. No, hold on. Okay, don't be moving. Okay, uh... This, this is... Oh my god. Okay, I've got... Stumpy... Flash... Stumpy's Flash... Jeffy's Peewee's... Rocco's Hammers... All right. Here's all my crew. I guess we're moving north uh, to kill things. Visually, for the time, these are like 3D models. My God, there's a lot of stuff happening, man. It's like constantly peeking out, isn't it? Okay, sound volume. Minimum. Sorry about that. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's an RTS, can't argue with that. I guess instead of, like, a guy just saying affirmative, understood, uh, like a billion times, you just have, like, this whirring sound, which is kind of better. Kind of worse. Kind of reminds me of the dentist. Oh, you can actually go up here. Well, uh, can I go in? I can't go in. I think when we looked at best RTS game, we saw Supreme Commander come up a few times, didn't we? I don't know if anyone mentioned Total Annihilation, though. Well, if you can get in there, now's the time. Presumably that's good. Victory, okay. Now it's going to shrink down again. Uh, as we see them overlooking this installation with some nice artwork. I like that. Standard victory screen there. And now we're going to core K-Bot base, destroy it. Build a base and destroy the core K-Bot lab. 
return the commander. Located across the river to the Our south. To right. There we go. Uh, I don't know why it's... It looks kind of cut off for you guys. Oh no, it should be fine. Alright. So here we have the commander. He can build stuff. He can build a solar collector to produce energy. Metal extractor to extract metal. This all makes sense to me. I guess let's build the metal extractor on the metal. I've never heard of something so brilliant. Alright, he's, uh, he's building it. And uh, there it is. So that costs a lot of energy. So I guess we want energy collectors. And now it's producing energy. We want more energy. Even more energy. Asymmetric energy. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're back up to full. It goes pretty quick. It's sort of weird that the max is a thousand. I don't know if you can build on that. I guess metal collection is pretty slow. So we want to grab all those. Okay. Oh, shit. Kill him. Oh, got him good. Alright. We got the metal coming. Uh, other things we can build include a light laser tower. Requires 2,546 energy. Or a K-Bot lab to produce K-Bots. I guess a K-Bot lab is good. Uh... Okay, so, uh, we've got Pee-wee, which is an infantry, Hammer, which is artillery, Rocco, which is rockets, and Jethro, which is anti-air. I don't think we have to worry about that. I guess let's just make a bunch of Pee-wees? Okay, now my max has increased to 1,100. Why would that be? Uh, uh, what would increase your max? Probably want, like, another lab. So, yeah, the resources are unlimited, which is nice. We never have to worry about running out. It's just a matter of, like, time. Everything comes down to time. As you can see, our metal stuff... Really damn slow on that front. So, I guess if we find more metal sources... I'm not sure how far away we can build. I don't know if there's any limits on that. Uh... I don't know if you can build metal extractors anywhere, or if it has to be on the metal spots. He 
These are all questions. Perhaps I should look up answers. How much metal? Oh, so now it's at 1200. Is this just over time you just get more? Maybe? Uh, let me just pause real quick. Let's see here. Total Annihilation. Uh, no, Energy, Energy Storage. Oh, I wish I had this. Energy storage is a building you can make to increase your max energy stock by 3,000. Okay, so that sounds good. Otherwise, it doesn't seem like I... I don't know. I guess it doesn't... Uh... Whatever it is, I don't have it. D gun. <laughs> well, that was cool. All right, maybe get some uh, Rocco's. I don't know how many uh, units we need here for this operation. Can't be too many. Let's, uh, let's work with these. And uh, let's build one of these towers. Just want to see it happen. Lead red bastards. Got one of my my dudes, my dudorinos. Okay. So far so good. Pathing seems questionable. For my my folks, not so sure on that. But it does definitely do some things differently. I could see it being interesting, sort of balancing your economy a little bit more. Shit. Oh, hold on. Don't get caught in a pincer. AOE damage. The terrain is kind of interesting. Destroys energy storage, then it'll be fucked. Yeah, eat shit, red. Might 
tell you, uh, oop, we might have this. Destroy the K-Bot lab, can't make any more of those. Shit. Well, yeah, just the rocket boys. Not so hot. Slow volleys. Oh, I won. Okay, cool. More cool art. Alright, spider technology. Secure the spider ATV units. One spider must survive. Bring one of the spider tanks back to your base. Build your base quickly and secure a spider tank. Reclamation technology accelerates energy and metal acquisition. What does that mean? I don't know. Let's build a metal extractor, though. So now we have a wind generator. Is that just better, or is it not? I mean, it costs less. I don't know. More metal up here. Who we'll want to get in on that? All right. More metal over there. Let's secure the perimeter here. Everything's a little slow, you know. Nothing happens at too fast of a pace. Good. Uh, let's build a wind turbine. A wind generator. I mean, it doesn't generate wind, but I understand what you mean. Okay. Uh, K-Bot Lab, vehicle planned, ta ooh, radar tower. Let's build one of those. Whoa! Look at all those enemies. My god. Alright. Fair enough. Let's get uh, K-Bot Lab online. There's our spider tanks. So we need to get these boys back home. Uh, and at least one of them has to survive. So we can't just cut through and hope for the best. It's got to be a rescue mission. A construction K-Bot. Okay, let's build a construction K-Bot. I don't know, solar seems to be better. I don't know if there's, like, situations where you don't want solar. But it seems better. solar can never have enough construction k-bot took quite a while but it can build much slower than our commander I'm sure 
Dragon's Teeth Perimeter Defense. Alright, we'll start working on a vehicle plant. And you can make a laser tower. Now you can apparently just build it anywhere. I don't know. There's no restrictions. I suppose... Warcraft 2 doesn't have any restrictions. I guess most RTS doesn't have any restrictions. That tower up, man. There it is. Now ah, we're talking. So, I assume this consumes energy. Oh, shit. Uh, let's build another tower. Because they're cool. And let's start cranking out some... Peewees. Yeah, fuck off! I don't know, I guess make a lot of peewees. Towers! Towers! The two towers! Vehicle plant's almost done. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, if there was more metal... There's a rock here I can apparently get metal out of. Aha! And you can harvest the wreckage for more metal. Ah, it's all coming together. Uh, Stumpy, medium assault tank, flash fast assault tank, fast attack vehicle, construction vehicle. All right, let's just construct Jeffies. Five of them. Why don't you make, uh, like a tree and build another K-Bot lab? I like the harvesting your dead opponents for resources. That is pleasurable to me. Look at big old rock. in over here. Blast them. Blast them. Nice. Turrets are good. Is this like a an avenue of approach over here? No, I think that may have just been a lone bat. No, no, they can come in here. Alright, how about I build another light laser tower? That'll teach him what for. Alright, we got quite the little army building here. Uh, let's build some Rocco's. And uh, maybe a couple Stumpies. I'm gonna run out of metal here. Oh my god, they fucked up my little tanks. Good. Oh man, one shot. That's not pleasant. Now, 
I've got the D gun I could use. Can't stop the D gun. Oh, there's metal up there. Oh. D gun. Boom. My vehicle plant is under attack. Hold on, I struggle with scrolling down. Uh. It feels not under attack, if I can be honest. I don't know how much uh, I can use the D-gun. The D-gun seems good. D-Gun! Boom! Slowly, Commander's just gonna clear them all out. Oh, you can harvest rocks and shoot at the same time? It's pretty good. Eat D-Gun, bastards. Boom! Still don't know what the cost of that is. Possibly... Energy? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Nothing too serious. the construction bot. You get out of here. Your job is done. I think we're pretty much ready here to move out. We could send the commander with, but no, you don't send your commander into battle. It's crazy. We've got an army here. Use the army. Alright, I think we're ready to rock and roll. It's a fair number. Yeah, I don't know why the mo the drag, uh, drag in a box over the units also grabs the buildings. Why would you ever need to drag a group of buildings. Or select a group of buildings. Yes, this is what we like. This is what we like. Destruct. Total annihilation. That's what we want. Oh, God. Alright, it's getting a little messy. Will they actually shoot things of their own accord? Yeah. Get across the river. They're funneling us. I can't scroll to the left. Cursor isn't locked to the window. It doesn't work that way. Oh, and we're separating too much because I can't get get over. Get the fuck over. Part of the problem with these older games and running it, you know, we just run into a lot of issues due to me needing to record them with OBS. I guess I could just do everything with display capture, but I don't really like to do that. Uh, and that runs into its own issues. In general, I just can't do full screen. So... Oh shit. 
This is the last tank left. Get out of there. <laughs> I didn't realize. Well, that was good, I noticed. Alright, make it home. Make it home. The rest of the army doesn't matter. Make it home. Yeah. Let me scroll. I wonder if arrow keys... Oh, arrow keys work. Well, then... Then that's pretty much fine. Did I do it? Do we make it home? Do I have to have my commander hug you? Shoot him with his D guns? Oh, there we go. Victory it is. And another cool picture. Alright, well, I'm fairly pleasantly surprised. Just as far as the actual game mechanics are concerned. Um... I think there's a, you know, a very solid foundation here. The problem is I think it's desperately in need of a remaster. Or perhaps as a better option, just play Supreme Commander. Uh, is Supreme Commander on the list? Um... No? No? No, Supreme Commander's not on the list. Now that's very odd, because Supreme Commander... ...got some very solid reviews when it came out. Let me just do a search here. Hmm, interesting. What is Forged Alliance? We're learning some... Oh, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance is a standalone expansion. Um, okay... Why do you like TA better than Supreme Commander? This is from 2007 with people complaining about the hardware requirements. I heard you need a supercomputer to run it. Uh, TA runs on my computer without me having to buy two new 3 gigahertz Xeon processors. Shit. Hmm. I'm not sure here. I'm not sure what kind of ruling I can make. It's very dated. Uh. It's from 2010. Still, people complaining about the hardware requirements of Supreme Commander. This is GOG forums. People tend to be a bit more old school. I guess Reddit. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, hold on. Let me try a, a different approach here.
So there's mods, I suppose. Um, I guess Supreme Commander uh, Forged Alliance is pretty popular. I'm, okay, and then there's... Total Annihilation Kingdoms? What is that? Okay, hold on. Let me, uh... See about that. What? What the hell is it? Total Annihilation Kingdoms plus Iron Plague? This is a fantasy version of Total Annihilation? That sounds cool. Oh. Okay, that wasn't even mentioned. I don't think this was even mentioned. Uh, on this, the Wikipedia page for Total Annihilation, even though the Kingdoms page says that it's the second game, it's the second installment of the Total Annihilation franchise. Okay, so Kingdoms has a more in-depth storyline. Uh, it's a fantasy game. Simplified resource management with just one resource instead of two. Uh, there's four factions with an expansion pack that added a fifth. This sounds kind of interesting, I suppose. Let me just look at some footage of this for a comparison. Um, okay, I guess it looks similar, pretty similar, but, yeah, very fantasy with, like, yeah, I mean, here's, like, you're in, like, this town, this, like, fantasy town, there's, like, dragon units, uh, yeah, okay, it's like Warcraft 2 and Total Annihilation slapped together. Uh, now I'm still unclear about... Uh, what I was even looking for where I ended up on this. I don't know. I don't... I, 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 I guess... I guess... It doesn't seem like Supreme Commander just supplanted Total Annihilation. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's just, like, a remaster or a remake or something like that. So, you, you can't really get around the datedness of it. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's playable, right? It's it's certainly playable outside of, like, this windowed bullshit trying to record it. But that's usually not a problem for people. Um... I guess? I guess I, I would give it to it. I mean, I would, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised... And originally I was going to say, well, um, it's just like, it's cool, it's got cool ideas, but it's dated. 
but then just, you know, there's Supreme Commander. But apparently Supreme Commander is not that similar. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. I can't really get a consensus of, like, a comparison or a franchise or something like that. Let's go back to, to best RTS of all time uh, from Reddit. Because this is where I think we sort of saw some discussion there. Uh, so here, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Hands down, best game ever. Great RTS that other RTS games could learn from. Uh, but this says, if you want to play a fun RTS game still ahead of its time, go to GOG.com and buy Total Annihilation. Still holds up today. Uh, here's another recommendation for Total Annihilation, but another recommendation for Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Uh, Supreme Commander 1 and 2, but 1 is better. Okay, I think there were some other recommendations around. Um, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. My first massive scale RTS, which led on to Planetary Annihilation, which is my honorable mention. Okay. Um, in this thread, not a whole lot of mentions of Total Annihilation. Oh, here's Total Annihilation. Breaks the mold of all the other cookie cutter RTS games followed. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I guess... I guess we'll go with yes. I guess we'll go with yes. I mean, it's possible that, like, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance should be on the list, but from the sound of it, it it's not really the same thing as Total Annihilation. This is its own game. Um, and the fact that I was pleasantly surprised by it compared to... The other RTS games we've looked at, like Age of Empires 1 and Command and & Conquer 1 and stuff. Um, yeah, there's probably something here. Um, I can't really say, because I'm not that big into RTS. But it does seem cool. And I like sort of the economic aspect of it, of balancing your, your energy input and output and metal input and out, you know, stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Um, and obviously, I'm sure it gets way deeper than this, especially when you're playing, like, against other people. People are still recommending it and stuff like that, so, yeah, sure. Total Annihilation, one of the best games of all time. Why not? Pretty cool stuff. Alright. That'll do it. My name is Mang. This has been Mang Plays the Best Games of All Time with Total Annihilation. And I'll see you fine folks next time.